here we go. This is the PyTorch sample that's in GitHub, downloaded straight from GitHub. And I'm going to go ahead and build it. I've installed all the other packages that are necessary. I am building for Win64. And this is building for Android. That's done. So I'm going to go to the folder here where everything's built into. And I go into the bin directory. And I have the different programs that were built. This is an installer. You just run this and it installs all the Python prerequisites, which you can see it's doing right now, creating this Python folder. This is the server GUI that we run this. It makes a server that the mobile app connects to, and it uses these two here to do the training. I'm going to go ahead and deploy this onto my Android device, and I will uninstall it since I installed it earlier. And this takes a little bit to get everything installed here as far as the Python setup does, but this is a one-time thing I'm about to do. All right, so this is installed. I'm going to turn on screen recorder here. And it's asking if it can um, access the camera, which it needs to to take pictures. That's its purpose. So I'll say while well, using the app. And it wants to have storage to store the devices on the phone. So I'll give it permission for that. So now I have to give it the IP address of my host here, which I don't have memorized. It's right there. And there, we need to fix that font. It's a little hard to see. So this is done. I need to go ahead and run the server now. This setup finished. And I'll run the server GUI. Start it up. And I hit continue on here. And it's connected. So now I'm going to collect some data. Uh, and ask if I want to collect what class I'm collecting. So we'll say I'm collecting a uh, thumbs up. And I want to just point this at my thumb and take a picture. And keep that one. And we'll do another one over here with the white background. Keep that one. And we'll do one down here on the floor. Okay. And then I want to go back and I want to collect some more data. I want to collect thumbs down. I'm going to do the same thing. Over there, over there, over there. And now I'm going to tell it to train the model. So this is connecting to the server and it's gonna have the server run the training. And so I just hit start. So it's connected to the pipe, training the profile, and this is gonna take couple of minutes to do. It's going to take all the images, including the ones I just took, along with the about a thousand that we already have on um, here, which I can show you those images. Transfer learning, training data, default. So here's the thumbs down images. Um, a lot of them in there. And oh, that's a readme. I don't, that doesn't need to be in there. Screw that. Wait, maybe it does. I'm going to leave that. <laughs> and then here's the thumbs up images. And these are mostly Lucas images or pictures of my own thumb. And then I collected some from some various uh, free Creative Commons Zero licensed clip art sites. And then I found a set of training data that had um, lots of thumbs up and thumbs down there as well. So I've combined all that together. And here's about a thousand images in that. And it's going to go through and train all of those and put them into right here. This is the model that's being created. And actually it's the old model, but it's rewriting it here. And all the code here for this is all Delphi code. It's no, there's no Python code in here. All Delphi code. Using PyTorch right there and just training it. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember to fast forward this part so you don't have to watch it live. I bring up the GitHub page here. So this is before the webinar, we have three stars. That's how many stars we have for this day's over. I'm really excited about this project. I expect that number to just explode. 
There are other demos in here as well. You can check out, there's two sets under PyTorch here. This is the transfer learning, but the uh, time sequence prediction is just a nice, simple, short demo. And I do want to point out, this is early access, so you're more than welcome to play with it and file bug reports, but we are still working on it. Okay, model training, model successfully trained. And so now I can go back and go into live recognition. Turn on the recognizer. There we go. Not going. There we go. So you see on the right, it says it went up to thumbs up. I go like this. And the slider goes down to thumbs down. Oh, come on. What's going on here? <laughs> it, it's trying to go thumbs down. Oh, this is working good before. There we go. So something it doesn't like about the mixed up background there. But now it's getting really good thumbs down and thumbs up. So I need to put some more images in there. Do better training and it will do better discovery. So there we go. I think that's pretty dang exciting.